A brief breather from election year politics is about to come to an end. The race for mayor of Jacksonville and other city offices will begin in less than a month. Mayor Curry is already running an ad, which is more of a holiday greeting than a political pitch, but it is the first of more to come. Right now, Curry is only facing opposition from candidates who you might say are relatively unknown. However, that is about to change. News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Piggott is joining us live from City Hall, where he talked with the mayor and with others who want that job. Jim? You know, Tom, they're just finishing up an open house here at City Hall, but it's going to be an open field for the mayor's office very soon. Checking with the Supervisor of Elections Office, there are eight people who plan to run for mayor. The most prominent is Lenny Curry, who made it clear early on he's seeking re-election. He and his political committee have already raised over $3.4 million. His campaign just started running this ad, which features his family. But with more work left to do. I asked him today about the ad and the upcoming election. We've done a lot over these last three years, but there's a lot more work to be done, and we're all in this together. Also on the list of those wanting to be mayor is one of the members of the Jacksonville Five, Connell Crooms. That's the group arrested in 2017 during a protest at Hemming Park. Another man running is Jimmy Hill, a former Atlantic Beach commissioner who got into a highly publicized fight with the city over the cancellation of the boat show at Metro Park. One name not on the list is City Councilman Garrett Dennis. He's been at odds with the mayor for several years and has hinted he will run. He told me today he will make that decision this weekend after talking with his family. People just want to change. They're just tired of the, uh, the cloud that's hanging over our city. Um, you know, the bullying, the intimidation, uh, you know, the, the backdoor deals. Former Mayor Alvin Brown has been making the rounds lately, most recently at the Children's Christmas Party. Some have speculated he might be making a run again after being beat by Curry in 2015. He's not returned our calls today. And there is also another city council member, Anna Lopez Broche, who has been a nemesis of Curry's for years. It's been speculated that she's going to run for mayor. We reached out to her today to see what her plans are. In fact, one of the reasons I'm down here at City Hall with this open house was hoping that Brochet would be here, but she wasn't, so we still have not heard from her. By the way, 97 days left until that election. We're live from City Hall, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station.